So honestly, you just keep going and going. Like, I don't know what to do. All right, boys and squirrels, we're looking at a 1998 Integra. I touched it one time. It's really hot. Um, I don't know what to do. So I think if you keep going, will it just go to the headliner? I don't know. I don't know what to do. There's no way it's that deep. I have no idea. Wait, but what's the plan for this? Are we just... I would say bond it for now. Just bond it. Yeah. Okay. So, so we're gonna bond over this to fill it nice and smooth. Yeah. My son's gotta get close into yeah, here a little bit. Yeah, that's freaking crazy. But uh, this will be the wrong way to patch this. So essentially, you do not wanna just put bondo on this. Yeah. You're gonna wanna cut it out properly and weld a new piece of metal. But we're not gonna do that yet. Yeah. Right well, now, we're just gonna, gonna fill it. Yeah. yeah. So what do you want me to do? You want me to just grind it down? Yeah, just grind the whole thing down here and grind the whole right, thing. Let's see how deep it goes. Oh, I'm sorry, brother. Dude, look at that. Oh, fuck sakes. All right. What do you think? You have to yeah, you got to take it all out. It's just going to yeah. keep rotting. Look. Is this going to make a hole right here? Like, is it going to leak through? Probably. Fuck sakes. Well, I mean, what, is it already leaking? No, it's not leaking. No, it Hakeem, it's almost... Oh, my fucking God. Yeah, you got to fill this with a little bit of Bondo. You see that? Is that insane? That's rot, brother. That's insane. Oh That's my bad. God. You have to keep going until... Oh, you still got off. another sheet of metal in the inside, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah There's yeah, still... Look, if, if you look... Look. Yeah. So okay, just so grind it. So what do you think? What do I think? Well, you gotta cut it on and repatch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I would but say, it bondo it for now, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For now, we'll slap a layer of bondo just, on this. Let thing. me just keep hitting this to see how rough. If you if you keep hitting, it's just gonna make a hole. Like I don't. Well, you, you have to get all the rot out, no? Knock it out. You can just knock it out. Cause if grinding it down isn't gonna do anything, right? That's what yeah, I'm just, doing. Yeah, just just knock it all out. Whatever it needs to be knocked out. Yeah. Okay, and this then. Is solid still. So I don't like know what else you can like, do. It's this brown area right here. This is still kind of solid. This is still, look, that's this rot. is solid. Yeah, this is all rot right there, yeah. Like whatever brown area goes touching that solid rot. Yeah. Is that, what is this? What is, what is this? Is this like rust? Is rust, rust, man. I don't know, to be honest. It looks like it's rust. Yeah. Anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to put a piece of tape from the inside or something or yeah. even on top. Make it cave in just a little bit. There you go, Keem. And then we'll put the bondo on you top to fill it. So we can get all the yeah. yeah, we'll use the vacuum after. All right, Hakeem. Yeah. See now the rest just of this. Up, I yeah. Just, we'll just clean up the whole it. car like that. You can do the whole roof. Yeah, yeah. Then this after, is bad. But after yeah. the bondo for today, just yeah, to be bondo, safe. Bondo for today and then later I'm gonna we'll squirt to a bit of silicone in there just so it doesn't Perfect. leak yeah, for so tonight. Perfect. Yeah. Silicone is gonna hold it from yeah. the stuff like that. Anyway, so that's what's going on with my son's car. Now, let's look inside here, and we have. Spitfire. So what I'm gonna do with this today is I'm gonna take off the rad and basically everything that's underneath oh here that I did already. Um, I'm gonna actually run inside the house and see if my Amazon packages came with my new tools. But if that doesn't happen, uh, I'll just you know clean up as much as I can. I'm gonna flush the radiator because I haven't done that yet. And uh, yeah, that's all I can really do for now. Last time you guys saw this car, it had the stock 1112 tail lights, which were nasty. I picked myself up a pair of 13, 14 tail lights, um, and it's also now completely lowered since the last time you guys saw it. It's now kind of tuned, partially tuned. Um, it has the base tune on it. It still needs a full dyno tune, but it's running and driving pretty good. So yeah, I'll show you what it sounds like. Uh. This video is all over the place. It's quiet. Son videotaping me. Hi, Dad. It looks a little bit dusty. Well, I'm gonna tell you right now, you did a really bad job. Yeah. I thought you were gonna go to the bare metal. Oh, how long would it take to get to bare metal? Not long, but it's it's bumpy. It's bumpy. I don't know. Also, it's bad to touch that with your spare out skin. But yeah. anyway, take a piece of sandpaper, scuff it up really roughly. And then you can start painting this whole area, including that. You can paint that too, yeah. with primer first, and then we'll put the bond on top. Okay, so I figured out we're going to patch this little hole from the inside here with some silicone and this sponge. So we're going to roughly measure right along here, like right before this little dot. I'm 
trying to like focus on the camera, but anyway, and we're gonna stuff it in here, and that'll push up against this somehow. You think that'll work good? Yeah. Fuck, I gotta take a lot off. That's not bad. Basically like factory. Now we're gonna fill the little circle around with some silicone and then the bondo will smooth it off after. This is the right one though. Windows window and door. and door because it's pretty close to a window and it's pretty close to a door. And 100% so, silicone. Mm, mm, squeezer out there. Oh, we forgot to poke the end. We of the didn't silicone. puncture this. What am I what am I gonna use to puncture this thing? Alright, we punctured the hole really nice like. Oh. Learned this at college. Yeah, Mr. Mr. Little over here. Construction college. Okay, all right. I, I fuck with that. I think your cock is a little bit old. Yes, this has been in here since I don't know, maybe the 90s. Dude, I think your cock is rock Every hard. everything from this garage is pretty old. Never checked your cock. Dude, it's not gonna go yeah, off. Rock going. hard. So. This side is a little bit more um, bigger, I guess. Joe did a good job poking that out. Okay, okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the other sponge in here. Oh, I'm not focused. Oh, I'm zoomed in. I'm sorry, guys. We're gonna put the sponge in here and that'll fix all the problems. This whole uh, shenanigans over here, I cannot get this to go all the way into here. So we're gonna fill up with Bondo around this. Kind of make it outwards a little bit, it'll be fine. So. My friend uh, forgot something. I'm not gonna tell him, I'm gonna make him watch the video. <laughs> if he watches the video, then he'll know what he left behind. <laughs> he the but video. just to be safe, <laughs> we're gonna put it right up there. <laughs> so everybody knows that the roof is wet paint. <laughs> we're gonna put this bondo right over there. It is very cold outside and it doesn't seem to wanna do a good job, but we'll just smack it in place. Oh, he's angry. No, look, it's doing a good job. You're gonna have to put another layer on top after, but there you go. Ooh, that's a nice Spitfire. And that's my son. Taping off the windows. You know, it'd be how it'd be. The Bondo isn't quite ready yet. It's really wavy. But we're running out of time. We gotta fill this up quickly. Hopefully the rain doesn't leak through that little seam there that has, you know. Yeah, that should be okay. On the other side. It's like the same thing. It, it really shouldn't leak. I hope it doesn't leak. I hope but um, <laughs> you can see a little bit of a gouge in there. It's because I never filled it properly. But we're gonna prime it anyway. I think one can's good. Mm -hmm. There's nothing left in that. I'm gonna get you another one. But use this to do the first coat. I'm fucking nervous, yo. <laughs> That's painting. So it's like nothing like Double whammy boys, we got more paint from the garage that's been there from like the 80s or something. Oh my gosh, oh, oh, Jesus Christ. You I good? stepped on you that. Good? Remember, you gotta start off of the thing first. Oh my bad, okay. Well, it's too fucking late now. Look at that professional. He's gonna paint the antenna. Paint the antenna? 
Keep going, you're not to the middle yet. Just paint the antenna? <laughs> yeah. Just paint it black after. That's exactly what I would do. The camera doesn't really show much. There's like dents and stuff in it, which is normal. Yeah. But there's basically kind of waving on. Oh, yeah, you can see there's kind of like overspray and stuff, but like all these waves in it, mm. it's like really light. Mm. It's because it was like gouged the way that you grinded the paint. So some spots are bare metal, oh. sp some spots are um. So we got to sand paint. it down again, obviously. Yeah, just flush with a yeah. palm sander or something. Yeah. Well, okay, but from our first time, how does it? Let's get it once. It looks ten. just like right here in this spot. I'd give it a zero. Oh, okay. But over here, it looks good. The only issue is um, yeah. obviously like the prep work wasn't done right. Yeah. But yeah, it is what it is. Yeah. It's half decent. You can see there's issues with it, but. It is what it is. Obviously, this is the first thing. We're gonna sand it down again and put more filler over there. Maybe, or Can maybe I we'll leave clean this it. Ah, uh, no, I have too much garbage, man. I'm sorry. I can't have more stuff in the house. All right, but anyway, that's it for today. Uh, take care. Call me here.